Hey everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered, but not regular Dark Souls Remastered. Today, if everything goes right, and this is my second or third tr time trying to start this video, we should be playing The Binding of Lordran. The Binding of Lordran is a fan-made mod made by the same guy who made Daughters of Ash. Let me get the character started while I yap on which is supposed to rebalance the game and make it into a Binding of Isaac style roguelike game. The premise sounded interesting to me. This was recommended by someone on Discord and I looked at it and I was like, huh, sounds interesting. So we are going to check it out again. I am like genuinely, genuinely hoping that this works because if not, I'm gonna be pissed. Let's make like the most generic character possible. Uh, this dark brown hair, let's customize him a bit. I think that's about the most generic Dark Souls dude bro you can think of. That's about how much I usually spend on character customizations. So yeah, let's get started. So yeah, the idea is supposed to be standard roguelike. I'm not gonna watch the cutscene. You go through areas, you beat enemies, you beat bosses, rescue NPCs, and all that good shit there is a lot. What the fuck? What is this like little circle of friends here? Are you kidding me? Um, bruh, Sif is here. Okay, I can punch. Not sure if I want to punch any of these dudes. Um, okay. Obviously, let's go for the item. There's a lot of shit. Interesting. And now the kitty is here. Alright, I'm gonna put my shit on. Again, oh, and they give you the coolest, like, set of equipment in the game. Like, this thief set, I love the look of it. And it's extremely difficult to find and annoying to farm. So, I appreciate that they give it to you straight up. So, yeah, this is just, this is just gonna be me playing this mod. Uh, we'll see what happens. People say it's fun. You guys know that I wasn't um, the biggest fan of Daughters of... What the hell? Okay. The biggest fan of Daughters of Ash. So hopefully this grabs my attention a little bit more. It should be less dramatic in terms of the changes. Uh, it's just basically a rebalance on the areas and the kind of premise rather than the lore and the progression. Well, I mean, the progression obviously is affected. You know what I mean. Okay, she is very quiet. That is definitely... I mean, obviously, she never had this dialogue. This is post-voice acted. I can... Okay. They have voice acting. It's pretty good. The voice acting is... Did she make cat puns originally as well? I don't remember. Let's see what we can do at the bonfire. Oh shit! Crush four fingers for blessing up the cleric equipment, witch's equipment, hunter, barbarian. Let's go for the barbarian equipment, bruh. So you, ju you just get like free shit? I like it. Then I need to check out what all this equipment is. Uh, we have Estus, obviously. Undead Flame. Undying Spark of Fire, not unlike the Ring of the Dark Sun, used to create a bonfire in Lordran, but be wary that only one bonfire can be kindled in each area. Okay. Hand of Cessation. 
this guy um shout out to him but he has a habit of using like overly fancy obscure words part of narg limb of some eldritch creature the fingers seem to curl one by one whenever it's undead bearer faces death in lord run crush them together manually to return to filing shrine prematurely okay it's like a i assume it's like the dark sign but then we do have the dark sign as well in terestingo i don't have magic i'm assuming no i don't all right Let's just have a quick look around what else we can do or find here. Uh, this is going to be kind of less edited than my, um, what you call it, Kingsfield 2. I don't even remember the name of the game. Playthrough. I'm just going to play some Dark Souls because I want to play Dark Souls but not have it be the same old. So we are going to begin journey to Lordran. All right. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Hopefully I don't get like some very shitty seed. Um, I don't know how randomized. I am assuming every time you die. Uh, it's like remixed. And we immediately have one of these assholes. Okay, he's not that strong. Uh, so the thing about this mod is that enemies are balanced as far as I know, and bosses as well, to your level, um, which is pretty cool. This is some doink shit, you gotta admit, this is some doink shit. The idea is good, I think, because it feels weird that nobody has ever capitalized on having like a proper 3D roguelike Souls game, because don't even think about fucking getting toxic on me. That would be like insta death. Okay, I did not know that enemies would be remixed to this extent. Because, you know, like Binding of Isaac, uh, it keeps a steady like group of enemies per area. Like, you can't get any enemy on any level. And I'm gonna make a shit ton of Binding of Isaac references because this is Binding of Lordran. Like, Busbron Demoon Pike? Huh? This great shield is a projection of the great grey wolf Civ. What? Am I stoned? Because this is normal. Huh. All the descriptions are normal except for... <laughs> okay. Boss Boon the Move Spike or whatever. It's my alternative psychedelic folk act band name. You got it. Why did I? Oh shit, that's... That was a mimic, wasn't it, though? Fuck. You gotta be careful. I feel like toxic and poison are like... The worst things you can get. I say as I immediately get... Toxic applied. What the hell? Uh, let's not die. Eat shit, bitch. Get parried. Try to slow down the attacks. I'm still a parry god. Oh, please tell me I have something that... I'm not gonna have anything, right? No, I'm not. Uh, there is... A pretty high chance that I'm dead. Look at how slowly that toxic is draining out. Black Iro bracelet. Sniper bolts. <gasps> But it's, this is not going to cure it, is it? Nah. Why did I even try? Are you sure you have black phantoms too? A bitch has black phantoms. Do I hear the dragon? Or is there just like general wind noise here always? God, this is a nice area. Listen, 
the remaster is looking pretty dope. Um, yeah, I bought it on PC because the reason I decided it, um, I was like, I'm not gonna buy another copy of Dark Souls. I have like five copies already, but it, this was on sale, and it was so like incredibly cheap that I was like, you know what? Why not? Might as well have a fifth copy of Dark Souls as well to go along with all the other ones. Oh shit. Seriously? Not even like... What, like one-fifth of it drained? I am so fucked, like genuinely. Toxic is one of the worst statuses in this game because it drains out like in five years. Uh, this isn't as bad as the one applied by the Toxic Dart dudes. That one would have like killed me five times already. But damn. Okay, <laughs> that's a... <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> nice. Pro interior design. And is that door... Okay, it's not flat. Excellent. That's a barrier if I've ever seen one. You might as well put a fog gate there. Although, not to knock them, I don't know what goes into design. No, don't jump off, bitch. I think I already kicked the ladder. Down. I did not. Well, I'm officially a fucking idiot. That was an accidental jump, by the way. So, don't knock me. I have no idea what the hell happened there. Dunk pie. We got shite, as a Scottish person would say. I can't do a Scottish accent. I can't do any accent. No, I can do Russian pretty well. And of course, an over-exaggerated... No, don't go. One time I see a black vagrant or a red vagrant or whatever it's called and it leaves you know what I just said there previously could be misconstrued but let's not go there oh this fucking toxin is the death of me um I was talking about something Oh yeah, wait, what the hell? I was like, why can't I hear myself properly? And I realized I have my ears fully covered. Which, you know... Monitoring is an important part of recording. So that being like being able to hear yourself... Um, so you don't sound like an asshole and shout like an idiot. I feel like I've already had... Oh, this is gonna kill me. This toxin is gonna kill me. I can already tell, like... Just looking at... Oh, fucking kidding me. Alright. I don't actually know how difficult this mod is. Uh, aside from the fact that these fools are straight up cheating. Uh, there's a dragon here too. That must be just like a trigger. This is on some <laughs> bullshit. Um, I'm assuming with the randomized enemies we are going to have very entertaining um, physics issues. No way. Why did you put that guy here? He doesn't even fit. The pig doesn't fit up there either. This is crazy. I thought, you know, that the enemy kind of choice... What? Oh, it's a mimic. It's a mimic. So what? You literally have to take guesses? <laughs> speak Greek? <laughs> I don't speak Greek. That's what it... Speak Greek. It's my favorite spell. Uh, soul Arrow, Soul Spear, um, Speak Greek. We got all them top tier. What the fuck was that? Speagrick is the best spell in the game. White Dragon Breath has nothing on it. 
That's bullshit. Oh, that's a, a very strange death animation. Oh shit, you don't restock your Estus. So you use the... what? So, okay, how does this work? Part of the gnarled limb of some eldritch creature. Crush them together manually to return to filing shrine prematurely. Okay, so you get like... You're basically fucked, right? If you... Ouch. The dragon... The dragon triggers. I didn't think the dragon would trigger. Shit. So I need to check out the mark of death. I'm mean, like, what's up? Aside from the fact that this motherfucker spawns immediately. So he's gonna cause some issues all the time. Alright. Let's work out how this works. Unsettling sentient eye that appears in one's inventory upon death. Only the light of filing shrine seems to scare these ethereal beings away. Can't use it. Oh shit, I never noticed that it's crossed down like that. Is that how it is normally too? Okay. I'm gonna like not give a shit. We're gonna come down here. There are some very interesting mechanics here. And to be fair with you, I'm gonna come clean and say that I did not read the full instructions. Uh, just like I never read the full instructions to anything. Uh, which means that I might be missing stuff. That's why it took me two tries to get this shit working, because um, you're supposed to have the executable running and I did not have it running, so... Whatever, that's besides the point. I didn't read anything. But... That's nothing new. How did I know this thing fucks off? I'm gonna come out here and kill it. It ain't gonna give me nothing. Cool, well that was not definitely not worth it. I can be a little bit more focused here. But what I do, definitely skip this fool stuck in the building, because that's insane. Oh, the range. Unfair. It's not unfair, but metaphorically, it's unfair. Fuck off, Mimic. Look at that. Interesting that I don't know if this is a intentional thing that enemies sometimes what the hell? <laughs> okay. The item descriptions are definitely so far the best part of this mod. I don't know if the enemies slowing down like that are intentional. This legendary hand armor has high magic defense, though it's though though it very effective for his great strength. Built of the ancient fallen land of Ulasil, the Tyra. It seems like this is like remake, like randomly generated, right? Or something. Polished key required, or polished key required. Shout out to Poland. Um. What was I saying? I was gonna say something stupid. Oh yeah, the item descriptions. It does seem like it's randomly generated. Which means it's gonna be very much worth reading it. Cause I assuming I assume that we're gonna have some excellent results. But I don't know what's up with the enemies randomly slowing down. Oh shit. A black phantom version of this fool. How am I gonna kill? Bless you. See, I sometimes I manage to do it. Oh, fuck! 
face slash. It's so weird seeing these enemies in like these contexts. Like, you know, you're just not used to this. Having this enemy here. I know this is fairly similar to another mod. Let me just check the time. Okay, we're still good. Uh, this is fairly similar to another mod called Dark Souls Randomizer, which also like remixes items and enemies and all that. But I think this takes it even a step further. And of course, there's absolutely nothing here anywhere. Cool. Obviously, just like with Binding of Isaac, aside from the fact that I'm familiar with the concept of this game uh, in general, some of this is going to be trial and error. I hope you guys find this entertaining. I'm having fun because I've already thought about what the hell is that up there? I've already thought about previously maybe playing, oh it's the chained enemy, playing the randomizer mod because it seems like it's fun but this is even more... are you fucking kidding me? What the hell is... <laughs> Excellent. Purple rain. There's some like dope ass psychedelic alien rock he's holding there. And there is a black knight who's gonna most likely. Oh, he's not gonna clip through. Because I think, if I remember correctly, the randomizer mod does not scale enemies. Which makes it hard as fuck. Uh, and this one is a little bit more... Ah, oh, shit. This one's a little bit more lenient. That was a clutch heal. Except for the flag that I'm... The flagged? The fact that I'm running out of... Clutch heals. The boy's in trouble. Saved by the backstab animation. Fuck you. What the? Why did I deal so little? <sighs> Stressing me out here. Xan... <laughs> Do you know what this sounds like? This sounds like one of those... Like, you know, when you get some product from China. Some cheap electronic. And the instructions are like machine translated and it just doesn't make sense at all but I'm gonna read the Shan Jiang set what the bruh I feel like having a hundred percent block shield is like the most valuable knicker <laughs> okay let's see Knick art and Bell of the Spiral Death is became on the dwarf. Nice. I like it. Knick art and it's fucking heavy. What is this? What set is Xang Xang Gian it's impossible to pronounce. Increases maximum health. Knights remain in the shadows. It offers substantial in Gwendolyn. Well, Gwendolyn is substantial from certain points of view. Guinevere is even more substantial, if you know what I mean, but not as substantial as the Sing Diang armor or Kang Diang or whatever. It's what I ordered from the Thai place yesterday. Okay. Is it going to be a Mimic or is it not going to? Because it seems like it's completely random. Prism Stone? Is it just a regular Prism Stone? Huh? Oh, there it is. That's my dog. By the way. 
She's hella mad at something. Of course, he would be still here. Alright, I'm gonna like... Nice. I'm gonna like try to... Work... What? Doesn't... Oh no, they deal magic damage, don't they? Yeah, okay. No need to get mad. I feel like I really need to hone my parrying skills for this playthrough. Actually, I'm thinking I might just switch to longsword. Um, thinking about stable weapons. Bow. <laughs> Bow magic? Oh no! Are you... Oh, that's why. I got you, fam. I got you. Why you can hit treasure... Still... What? No! It's hella dark now, isn't it? He's still dying, and oh, this is so... <laughs> I have to do it. Mage Greer plate. Man, I want some ma Okay, that's not good. How the fuck do you get out of here? Abandoned jo Okay, that's... I'm not sure I want to do that. I need to use this bonfire kindling spark somewhere. I think that's gonna be the dope thing to go for. I apologize that it's slowly getting dark, but... It's just the nature of the world currently. And not metaphorically. I'm just saying that it's literally 4pm and it's getting fucking dark outside. Just how it is. At least I don't need to explore all the, like, other bits. This guy with his rock is just absolutely excellent. It looks like a fucking, I don't know, rock candy. I mean, this is fun, though. Um... The only thing that's strange is this fast, slow enemy type deal. It's a little bit weird. And it looks like Black Knights do not respawn. They, they're too top tier. They stay dead. Which I am absolutely fine with. So, I think the lesson learned here is... Oh no, they do respawn. But not all of them. Luckily, parrying skills level 8. I'm not going to say level 10 because you know my parrying skills ain't all that. But... They're up there. They're up there. I'm just gonna try to like tactically use this. Well, wait, hold on a second. Where do you go? Because oh, you must be able to go down to Dark Root. It's the only thing I can think of. Because we've been to the other side of this place, sure. Okay, it's locked. What up? I hate... Okay. These fucking... Fast low enemies can go to hell. Luckily, everything seems fast low. Explos... <laughs> Explos... <laughs> giving you them tw tongue twisters. Explocletic... Impossible to pronounce. Fuck. Just be careful. 
I'm gonna use my magic bonfire. Uh, don't worry. God, the longsword is fucking good in this game. And is he still dying? Oh, shit. Please just be normal speed. He's not normal speed. Which means... Talk about it. What? Fuck off. No, no, no. There's too many. There's too many. We're in trouble. I get it. Trace souls for moats. Reverse hollowing. I'm gonna do that. I need to reverse turn on a light. Which I'm gonna do because I think this is going to be the wrap up. Havel the Rock. Cover body in powerful shockwave. Consider an undead mission. Display more tangible presence. Abyss sorceries to the way of white. I think that's going to be our lesson for today. Display more tangible presence, abyss sorceries of the way of white. What more can you say? I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here from the darkness because I'm sure the face cam is just a dark blob at this point. And I'm going to turn on light because I want to play more of this game. Uh, it's fun. It's genuinely fun. Hope you enjoyed this first part of the Binding of Lordran Dark Souls Remaster mod. If you did, as always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the post notifications to stay up to date with my content. And yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Peace out, and see you on streams, see you in other videos. Goodbye.